All right, welcome back. We are now in exercise number six for master cam mill training. And this is gonna be our exercise. Now, as you can see, I have this opened up in SolidWorks to go over that real quick. Now, one thing you'll notice is that there is no drawing for exercise number six. And the reason for that is because I'm gonna show you guys how to take this part from SolidWorks and import it into MasterCam. Now, I'm also going to be saving this part in a few different formats. For example, I just format in other formats as well. This way you'll get a good practice of how to import a bunch of different kinds of models into MasterCam and set them up. Now, one thing you'll notice here is that the Y axis is pointing up in SolidWorks, X axis is to the right, and Z is to the left or to the front. So that means when I import this into MasterCam right away, I know that this side will be the top side, but this is gonna be my top side. So I'm gonna show you guys when you import a part like that into MasterCam, how you can fix it, okay? How you can rotate the part and fix it so you can machine it the right way. So I've done this on purpose to make sure that I show you guys when you import a part and it does not look exactly like you want, or for example, the top is not in the front or some of those views are different, how to switch those, all right? So let's go over how we'll be machining this part. So as you can see, there's a top surface over here with a lot of holes and a left side, or this is the front view, front plane with a pocket and a right plane with open pockets. Now, right away, I know that I need three different setups. I need to set up for the top, set up for the front and a set up for the right, all right? Now, we're not gonna be machining this part using our regular machining operations. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to machine this part using FBM mill and FBM drill. Now those two features are within MasterCam and they're very, very nice features. They allow MasterCam to basically detect all the holes or all the geometry that you need to machine. It will pick the tool and it will basically pick everything for you and machine the pocket for you. It's a really, really nice feature. FBM stands for Feature Based Machining. All right, so there's two, FBM mill and FBM drill. One's for only milling and one's for only drilling. For example, with one operation, I'm gonna be able to drill these holes to their depth with their chamfers, with just one operation. Now let me go ahead and place this right here under hidden lines and visible for SolidWorks, just to show you that the holes or the drilled holes are actually to a certain depth. MasterCam is gonna detect that for us, okay? It will also detect the depth of both of these pockets, all right, and do it for us. Very, very nice features. So you might ask me now, well, why didn't I learn this from the beginning? Well, because that feature is a little bit limited. This is something you would do if you want to create something very simple, uh, machine something very fast, and uh, uh, more for roughing, but you can use it for finishing as well. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? But the other features, for example, contour and pocket, there are a lot more details. You can control your tool a lot more. So if you're very specific of how you want your tool to come in, machine your part and all of that, so this is where you can go and use the regular machining operations. But for me, I actually use this operation 80% of my time because I just wanna machine something very fast, very quick, and I can go back in there and edit things and this and that. Sometimes you might spend more time editing and that's why you would it would be easier for you to just go ahead and use the regular features. But they're very, very nice and very powerful features that can save you tons of time. Let's go ahead and get started with the next video by importing that part into MasterCam. 